Right. Well, uh, speaking of having a happy life, uh, we want to touch on the subject of an arranged marriage with my next guest. Here we have Liz Muyu Ocampo and Solomon Ocampo joining us on set. Karibu Nisana to the show, guys. Thank, Thank you, you so Great much. to have you yeah. here. And uh, you two uh, have a very interesting story uh, to share with the world. And uh, I know they've been doing a lot of vlogs and things uh, and they have a YouTube channel. We'll be sharing that information with you as well as far as how you can catch up with them. But uh, first of all, tell us how you guys met. <laughs> <laughs> That's the point. We never met. You never met. <laughs> we never met. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we met at the altar. <laughs> what? <laughs> but anyway, let him tell us how okay. they arranged our marriage. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, my parents have been missionaries here in Kenya uh -huh. since the late 1980s, and our family moved here in 20, uh, 2005. And they moved from where? From the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're from the Philippines and uh, we work with the ministry of her parents so we got to know their family okay. uh, it's only that uh, me and her you know we did not meet each other i knew her sibling she knew mine but us personally as individuals we never met okay yes and so then what happened so then uh my mom you know were yeah was, like whose idea was this <laughs> was my mom was a culprit <laughs> mostly and uh, she was good friends with her mom, who's also a bishop here in the in Kenya, yeah. and sh she said, "I have an idea. Why don't your daughter marry my son?" Oh my gosh! <laughs> and then what did this you was say? one of those women's ministry parking lot things? Like <laughs> it was a joke, and yes. someone took it too seriously. <laughs> they were being serious. Uh, it started well, with family laughs. family do that. They do that. Right. Yeah, my family has been doing it for all of my siblings. All of us are arranged, so okay. it wasn't as hard for me as it was for her right. because my older siblings have done it and they're still happily married up to this day with lots of kids wow. <laughs> all of them yeah okay mm -hmm. oh my goodness so let's come to you then Liz. <laughs> yeah how did your mom break this news to you well she had gone for his sister's wedding in the philippines okay and so while she was there that's when she broke it oh we're interested in your daughter for our son who is, should be married next and so she called me when she was in the Philippines. Oh, Liz, uh, I think they're considering you for their son, Solomon. I'm like, who is Solomon? And what makes you think that I can't find myself a man? <laughs> like, right. Are you serious? Yeah. You know, and I'm like, mommy, please just leave me alone. I can find myself. <laughs> so at this point, you are in the Philippines? Yes, I had gone back to the Philippines. I lived here from 2006 to 2009. Okay. I left for university in the Philippines and I was there when this whole thing was happening. <laughs> oh my gosh. So he wasn't even in the same country. No, no we're not in the same country. Yikes. Okay. And so I go on Facebook, we're in the world of Facebook. I'm like, Solomon Ocampo, I see his picture. I'm like, nah, are you, are you all kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> With this face. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't see it. <laughs> I did not. Oh, no. But same to him. He showed my picture and he said, no, please. I don't yeah. want a black woman. No, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Let's be very careful. Careful. That's not what I said. I said, my only request is I want to marry a wife, uh, to have a wife who's a Filipina. I a didn't Filipina. say not black. Okay. Just a, I'm very patriotic. Are there black Filipinas? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. So we were clearly not each other's taste. Right. And so I completely blocked the idea and said, uh, please don't, don't put me in your things with your friends. You know, you do your things. And so as time went by, uh, for some reason, we got to do a vacation as a family in the Philippines because my mom, when she went for the sister's wedding, she really liked the country and like, okay. you guys must see this country, 7,000 islands, it's yeah. beautiful, you must see it. And so in 2012, we went as a family for the vacation. Okay. But when we arrived in the airport, everybody's like, that's Liz. I'm like, what, what, what's up with people? <laughs> because their family now was was welcoming us on okay. board. And, and so they kept on Justin, you know, you guys. But at that time I was dating in Kenya. and I didn't You want were dating somebody else? Yes, I was dating. So I didn't want these jokes. Me, I've come for vacation. Please, I have a reputation. I'm a pastor. I don't have time for jokes of complicated relationships, you know. <laughs> You're going to ruin my reputation. Right. And so uh, at the end of the vacation, uh, his father, because I was like, this is a mother thing. 
if the father I know I'm like where are the dad <laughs> exactly my dad has nothing to do with this oh yeah he's not into this arrangement oh, yeah? yes. he's all about find your love okay <laughs> yes. so he wasn't going with this plan. no 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 he even had no idea he wasn't told okay uh, and so at the end of our vacation we had uh farewell party and so the, the whole congregation his family is also their pastors uh, and so they they're wishing us farewell come back to Kenya and so I see his father stand up in front of the whole congregation and he says I want to betroth my son Solomon I'm like oh wow this is gonna be interesting let us see who this <laughs> is <laughs> you know <laughs> and so in front of the whole congregation he Solomon come up and Solomon came up and he's like to Liz Muyu I'm like wait <laughs> what you're what? dating somebody else <laughs> I'm like, wait, wait 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 people <laughs> hold up <laughs> you know so I stand up and I'm betrothed while I'm dating <laughs> This is this this story is crazy. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. It is crazy. <laughs> this story is crazy. So, yeah. so I came back uh, to Kenya. The first thing I did, of course, was call my boyfriend and just break it up. Now you've broken some guy's heart. <laughs> Solomon, that's what we have to put on you. Kenyan I men know. are not happy with you. I that's know. not correct. <laughs> this guy did nothing wrong. Imagine. <laughs> Okay, Nani. So you, you took it seriously from there. And no, I no, I didn't take it seriously from there. I did not. I did but not. you broke up with your boyfriend. I broke it off because now I'm in a complicated situation. People in okay. Philippines know I'm betrothed to the <laughs> prophet's son. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you know, some the prophet's son. Some people you. come home with a keychain as a souvenir and right. she came home with a, <laughs> with a man. Imagine. <laughs> Imagine. The husband and your betrothed. Imagine. Actually, how was your vacation? <laughs> I'm engaged. <laughs> Some Things people just get a t-shirt. Yeah, things you read in the Bible <laughs> were happening to me. Oh, no. <laughs> so anyway, I didn't take it seriously from them. But clearly, the guy wasn't my taste. I didn't know him. He was a stranger. And we didn't talk. The entire time I was on the vacation there, he was in university. And so you didn't we even see each other there? We, saw, You know, from a distance. But we okay. didn't talk. Okay. Because guys were making fun of us, so it was irritating. Yeah. And like I said... I didn't want to be in a complicated situation. I cannot imagine like <laughs> being in that situation. I'd be so mad. She oh was mad. Was. <laughs> Even at my mom. Like, I was just like, mom, what are you doing? I like, know. <laughs> slow it down. Did your mom know you were dating somebody here? Did you tell her? I, I don't think she knew. No, she didn't know. Maybe you were worried. We were not that serious. Okay. Well, we were serious, but you know, with my mom, you have to take things slowly. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> wow. Um, I, I want to hear about the reaction of, because I guess this is maybe a custom that your family was used to. Mm -hmm. So maybe your friends, relatives, they were already kind of yes. in the loop and understood mm -hmm. it. How did your friends react to this? <laughs> I did not tell my friends until I started my YouTube channel. They did not know I was in an arranged marriage. So, <laughs> so all your bridesmaids and whatnot, like they were All my bridesmaids were just really really close friends and my sisters okay so, yeah so. so okay they had an understanding but yeah. everybody else my bridesmaids know. were with me in the vacation so okay. they saw me being betrothed so okay. that's why i just brought <laughs> that exact the same group <laughs> <laughs> during my wedding oh yeah. my goodness oh my goodness um do you how have you sort of like how did you come to terms with this and sort of accept this i mean it took this me is two years. This not Kenyan at yes, all. Yes, it's not Kenyan at all. And then we're like, we're here, it's like, you know, it's 21st century. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, right. How did you kind of react to this? I really want to hear her response to this when we get back from this break. And more so, I, mean, I just want to know who else would do this situation. Even if, you know, there are people who say they've been waiting for someone for a long time. <laughs> If the Lord decides to bless you with a spouse in this way, are you going to do it? Arranged marriage. Mkutane tu hapo uske tu your name being Tajwa Dati. Muriuki, you're now going to marry Samantha. <laughs> I'd love to hear if you guys would actually take this on. Sijui ni taje majina za watu hapa, ata mini kwe prophet. Lynette, you're going to marry Carol tu, you're going to. Anyway, let's go on break guys. We'll be back. <laughs> we'll be back after this. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hey guys, welcome back to Full Circle with Joyce. I'm here with Liz Muyu and Solomon Ocampo. And they are a married couple. Married for how long now? Six years. Six years. You have two? Three, three kids. Ch three children. Three kids yeah. between them. Yeah. And uh, it's uh, very interesting just kind of learning about how they met actually through an arranged marriage. Their mothers orchestrated <laughs> this whole thing. Watu wa kanisa. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Liz, you're explaining to us how you've gone on vacation in the Philippines mm -hmm. with your family. Mm -hmm. Kidogo, kidogo, you're hearing your name up in the front. Imagine. Not for a miracle. Imagine. <laughs> Not for thunderous blessings. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> but to tell you, by the way, you're marrying this guy. <laughs> okay. And that time you're dating somebody else yes. here in Kenya. Yes. So you came back, broke up with them. Mm -hmm. So now your window, you have a, an opportunity. Did yes. you dive in for the chase? That's my uh, mistake. I uh, dilly dallied, I procrastinated, and then she got impatient and told me I was wasting her time, which I was <laughs> for two years. She was like, nothing's happening. There's no wedding well, it planning. It wasn't two years. It was just a few months. Oh, I was a few like, months, sorry. Okay, okay. if you're going to... If we're going to get married, try to get to know me. And yeah. he didn't. And so... So you were just like, our wife has already been found <laughs> yeah. for me. I'm not it, going to do That's the anyone. thing with his family, right? Yeah. You know, they find you. Oh, yeah, okay. He just sits back. I am the prophet's son. Yeah. My wife has been found. <laughs> and that that's ha not how I explain. Hey, my friend. Okay. You will pursue me. So you actually broke off this... Uh, yes, I did. Engagement. I broke it off after a few months. I saw it's just wasting my time. I'm on the market. I'm in my 20s. At that time, I was in my 20s. <laughs> and like, I yeah. need to get back on the market. So I called his parents and told them, please, this thing is off. And they talked. His mom talked for hours until I pulled the phone. Like, this woman can talk. <laughs> oh, no. And so, yeah. After that, I just, you know, did it. Went on Facebook and wrote, I am single. Oh, my God. <laughs> so funny story is then, this was years ago, I met Liz at a wedding of a mutual friend. And Liz is uko there. You know when it's time to throw the bouquet? This babe had psych for catching the bouquet. <laughs> So she's <laughs> trying to pull me out. Let's go catch the bouquet. I'm like, that time I was, I was already kind of dating and I wasn't going to be public with it. But she's like literally dragging you me by so the arm. Stiff, to go and she's like, are you? I'm like, I'm already taken. She's like, I'm on it's a rig you've bought for yourself. And I was just like, who is this chick? I was like, no. Um, but she had a lot of psych to catch that bouquet. <laughs> Turns out that was around the time that she had just broken off the yeah. engagement yeah. with you. I, I saw that Facebook post she wrote. Uh, she wrote there, I am single. So I was just shocked. I'm like, I can see my bride flying away. I commented. I'm like, really? Wow. <laughs> when he commented. Did you really yes, really well? he did. He did. And so I blocked him. I was like, this guy's going to yeah. block my blessings. Oh my God. <laughs> it's like, yeah, this marriage of you guys is too funny. It's like a telenovela. <laughs> So you blogged him? Yes, yes. Now, what are your hopes? Because Imagine if somebody building. came and wrote, I love you, and hey, Liz, I love you, and to pursue you. See, he would have written, H. Hey, <laughs> I'm like, no. This guy's going to block my future. So, so you're in the Philippines, she's here in Kenya, and now she's blocked you. Yes, mm -hmm. I, I was uh, incommunicado, couldn't talk to her, so I kept pursuing her for like three serious seasons of pursuing her, and she was very firm uh, she, when she makes up her mind. Up to this day, she's yeah, firm. I yeah, so <laughs> she was done. And so she started looking and uh, <coughs> tell us about your <laughs> dating time. Oh, yeah, you went on to date other people. Oh, yeah, I like, did. I very serious about I was very it. serious about dating. Uh, I mean, about courting. Like. Yeah. So I, I did because I was a pastor. I've been a pastor for 13 years. And at that time, your your life is on the limelight, especially if you're a young, single lady pastor. Like, you, there's no time for mistakes and also I was only dating pastors because okay. I needed a spiritual head okay you know, I don't want to be in my house and hey, me and <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so <clears throat> during that time I realized like my purity standards were not being met okay like I'll be telling a pastor th and he's like I a cheese or I'm like uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> imagine <laughs> so, and these are young pastors I'm dating you know Wolo youth pastor of this church mm -hmm. youth pastor of that church worship pastor of this church and big big churches you know and so I realized so I went back to my closet you know <laughs> prayer closet I'm like God I need a man who has higher purity standards than I mm -hmm. like that was my standard like this has to be the basic okay 
this has to be my foundation. Yeah. And so during that time of prayer, the Lord reminded me of the Ocampos and their purity standards. <laughs> Please tell me you were on a mountain somewhere. Like, had you gone to the mountain? <laughs> to pray for her, I forgot to open her you eyes. <laughs> <laughs> so he, God reminded you about him. Yes, reminded me of his family. Like uh -huh. because these guys, they don't even greet you when you're betrothed. Like you don't even hug. Oh. Like not not nothing of that. Like wow. their purity standards on another level. Okay, and th which are definitely higher than mine. Yeah, I did not yeah. hug him. Like yeah. you know, kissing. What are those? Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, I so I unblocked him. But you know, when somebody's unblocked, they don't know. Okay. So I sent him a message. I'm like, hi. <laughs> <laughs> now you're the one crawling back. No, I'm not crawling back. <laughs> I just want to see how where this will go. Okay, okay. <laughs> because he's still not my type. You know? Yeah. It's not just the Lord reminding me. This guy has higher purity standards. What, what are you praying for? Okay. Stand up. Okay, okay. <laughs> From you. So during that time, uh, so the next thing he replied me was, what's your ring size? I'm like, <laughs> hey boss, come slowly, man. This you've just been unblocked. Like you need to this was his mother okay, orchestrating all this. It wasn't him. Yes. This Remember, was, it was his mother. This is still not him. This is yeah. still not him. He okay. still doesn't so, want a black So my woman. mom told me, uh, how do you feel about giving it one last uh, chance and try to persuade Liz? I'm sorry. I told her, oh, no problem. How do you feel about flying all the way to Kenya to do that? And I said, that would be great tomorrow. I'm like, wait, wait, <laughs> why don't we plan this thing so I can stay longer and enjoy uh, the country? She's like, no, just go over there. So the next thing I know, I packed my things quickly, went on the plane the next day. I came here Friday. Yes. Wow. <laughs> With a ring. Yeah, <laughs> you me, I'm just asking. Also, you, Jibud. Me, Jibud, say seven. <laughs> and we left it at that. Okay. That Friday night, his sister-in-law, who lives here in Kenya, tells me, Liz, I want to bring you a cake. I'm like, okay. So she comes over. I notice she's with her kids, her husband. I'm like, you're bringing me a cake with all these guys. Okay. <laughs> and she's like, oh, yeah, yeah. So she enters the house. I'm like, where's the cake? She's like, ah, oh, let me go get it. So she goes to the car. She comes back with this guy. Surprise! <laughs> I'm, surprise. <the> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, oh, I'm the wait, wait, what? <laughs> you know when he, when he, I'm still I'm, and then I ask him you came all the way are you going to ask me to marry you for sure he kneels down and oh my gosh him. yeah wow I knelt down and proposed and then she, I said will you marry me she was not saying yes <laughs> <laughs> and all the family members were there the brothers and sisters the oh, mom no. uh, they were shocked so she didn't say yes for a good two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to ask her again, will you marry me? Oh, no. <laughs> and what did you say? <laughs> Eventually I said yes, but okay. I, was, I didn't mean it. Like, I didn't want to embarrass him. There were too many people in the living room, yeah. his family, my family. I didn't want to embarrass him. So I just said yes so he can stand up, get up, go. You know, and then I tell him, by the way, I was joking. Oh, no. <laughs> so what did you do afterwards? So afterwards, yes. Yeah, so when I'm going to tell him, my family now crowd me. Hey, congratulations. Let's see the ring. I tell him, no, 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 you guys, there's nothing like this. No, no, no. I'm going to break him. Mm -hmm. And my brother holds me. He's like, yo, <laughs> you don't do that to a man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, these guys are great. They are going to treat you right. Wow. Uh, the family. Because we're just generalizing them. They're yeah. campo family. Yeah. And so... I was like, anyway, okay, let me just see where it will go. Okay. <laughs> this is really becoming a family thing now. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So you then opened up to actually dating him. No, we didn't courting, date. Courting. We no, we didn't court. So you just started planning. But you're, we started like you're planning the wedding. <laughs> but you weren't sure. I wasn't sure you at all. Even when I'm planning the wedding, I'm not sure. You walked down the altar without, without emotions. Without we were not no in love feelings, with each other. No emotions, no nothing. Me even, I was walking down the aisle to his mother. I'm like, me, I can't live with this mother. <laughs> <laughs> so we got married without liking each other or Are you being in love me? with yes. each other. Yes, from the moment we, we, we got engaged, <coughs> the next uh, the next two days, his mother flew me to Philippines to plan the wedding. But he was still in university, so I, I wasn't seeing him. So I'm planning the wedding with her. Let me get this straight. This is all happening literally within five days. Yes. You've just unblocked the guy. Yes. <laughs> his response is... What's your ring size? Yes. The next night he's in Kenya, yes. has proposed. Yes. Two days later, you're in Philippines yes. to go plan the wedding with Imagine. the mother-in-law and you're not even sure about yeah, getting... I was not sure. This is nuts. <laughs> this beats telenovela. <laughs> Seriously. Oh my gosh. So you planned this wedding. It was happening where? In the Philippines? It was happening in the Philippines, yes. 
And so, so you've walked down the aisle really not sure about this decision. Oh, yeah. Even Were my you dad kept on though? telling me that, you know, we can go back to Kenya. You don't have to do this. I'm like, Daddy, let's just do this. Okay, <laughs> your mom has power. <laughs> Guy, fuck your daddy saying you can go back to Kenya. <laughs> and <laughs> were you, like, were you feeling this? Like, was it now, like, a romance thing for you? Or no, you were kind yet. of just going with what your mom was saying? Uh, mentally, I knew that this uh, she was going to be my wife. I knew that I accepted it because even though it was arranged marriage, we were given a choice. It's not like you don't have a choice. Okay. It's completely up to you. Okay. And so I chose to follow it just because I trusted my father and my mother who were spiritually grounded. Actually, I don't recommend this arranged marriage to I'm other people. I was about people. to say, like, yes, do you recommend because this to other no, people? No, no, not at all. Because <laughs> people can manipulate you for money, totally. for convenience, for status. So unless you really trust someone's uh, spiritual north star. And you guys' families had a history together. Yes, they're very yeah. grounded. Please, ask you, my dear full circle people. No, 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 no. Please. Yeah. Very <laughs> careful. So uh, we actually started dating after the wedding. Yes. That's yes. when we started dating. <laughs> wow. So we went on our first date. So how did you then sort of build on the love? Like... Because clearly this is started, I mean, marriage in itself is a huge commitment. Mm -hmm. I mean, even for people who fall in love and yeah. then court and, you know, um, choose to get married on their own without anybody's mm -hmm. influences, you're still nervous walking down oh, the aisle. Yes. Like there's a whole bunch of emotions. Mm -hmm. How did you guys then sort of cultivate love? Like, and now you're in it. Then are your Jeep prophet's kid, bishop's kid. There's no exit clause here. Yeah. Like and the there's no is, divorce in the Philippines. Oh, oh. Yeah. Like by law? Yes. By law. Oh. So it's for life. No. Wow. So even if we wanted to have an exit clause, you couldn't have an exit clause. Quit it, yes. Oh my gosh. This <laughs> so how did you then kind of cultivate love? Because I, I trust that now you guys are, of course, in love. Oh, yes. and you have yes, three kids much. between you. Yeah. Um, how, how did that happen? And how did you sort of soften your heart towards him? Well, uh, like he said, the words his parents used, like his father told me, he has been praying about this. He was praying and fasting for, I think, three weeks. And the Lord gave him specific words. I created Liz for Solomon. Hmm. So those words stuck with me. I'm like, if this man was created for me and God, we, we trust God to choose everything, but not the important things mm -hmm. in life. And marriage is a very important thing. Mm -hmm. And if I'm so clouded because <laughs> I have my list, you know, my TDH, mm -hmm. blah, 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 all those things, then yeah. I will not see God's choice for me That's and right. clearly this guy had nothing to do with my <laughs> list <laughs> and so clearly God knew what I needed which yeah. I thought I needed and uh, what I thought I needed is not what I needed <laughs> because oh as we've gone through the six years clearly he was created for me like mm. to deal with all my nonsense you have to have been created for me <laughs> So, oh my gosh so after the wedding for sure like we said we had uh, started having our first dates our first kisses was, our first kiss was at the altar yeah and so you know feelings start coming slowly but you see it's the, you know first year Aki, of marriage that must have been hard. a very strange honeymoon our honeymoon was with our parents <laughs> oh, oh these two parents who decided <laughs> and her siblings oh, it was no, a family the vacation ended at <laughs> the first two days she had to kick them out like we want to go on a honeymoon get out <laughs> <laughs> no, his parents were so excited to show my parents the, and our our honeymoon package was great. So why not yeah. joining? So, so we had family both vacation. parents. It was a family vacation. They were next door. And so. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Oh so my goodness! Fun. Wow! <laughs> I, I'm even in shock. Like I don't even know what else to ask. <laughs> but um, I I have never heard a story like this one, other than what I see on TV. And I think what's just so bewildering is the fact that it's a Kenyan you know what I mean like <laughs> these are just things we don't usually t tend to see but um, you both clearly seem to agree that you would not recommend this for other people and I think there's very valid reasons you've stated um, so now that you've been married for six years obviously you came together in a very interesting way but what are some of the, the I guess the pointers and the tips that you would share with other people and specifically to you Liz because you kept saying that your, your standards of purity were not being met, mm -hmm. even by men of the cloth in church. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. To the young girls who are watching this today, and there's this tremendous pressure to get married before 30. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of them are looking out and saying, you know what, the values that I hold 
it's not there's, there's a list and then there's values mm -hmm. right so the list those are those things now tall dark handsome mm -hmm. city blue eyes blah 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 mm -hmm. those ones god can give you as bonuses or just <laughs> show you like your foolishness <laughs> exactly. um and then there's now the values which are the things that absolutely matter you mm -hmm. know for the relationship to the young girl who's struggling and feeling this pressure for i can't seem to find the right guy and i don't want to compromise on my values what would be your encouragement to them really as far as even just holding fast and knowing that those values you hold so dear mm -hmm. are not random mm -hmm. like and they are not futile mm -hmm. because it, in your very roundabout circus way <laughs> god still gave you those very bad yes yes yeah. yes so i want you to just speak to young women right now for me young ladies it's just to let them know do not compromise because what you compromise will affect you in marriage mm -hmm. and you will sleep crying every day so don't compromise in the in the bid of i want to rush i want to get there i want to start my family and then you end up having a valueless principleless mm. marriage because whatever danger signals you see while you're dating those will be true in your marriage mm -hmm. and so marriage should be a foundation that is started on on Christianity on the rock mm -hmm. on God like and not to be rushed it should not be rushed yeah and uh, babe what are you yes the wonderful oh, thing about our arrangement oh. <laughs> yes she's my babe now <laughs> okay. after she unblocked me uh, is that we started our relationship not on emotions yeah. and even if you look at India which practices uh, arranged marriage of course for other reasons social and Mm -hmm. you know other reasons they still have the lowest divorce rate in the world mm. so because the decision was not based of emotion i yeah. love you i'm in love with you yeah. because feelings change that's the, i always say that here love is a choice it's, it's a not choice. a feeling mm -hmm. yes because today there are days you will feel like you're in love with the person yes. you've married and mm -hmm. other days you're just like mm -hmm. <laughs> like so so who you <laughs> right? Philippines it is a choice not <laughs> a feeling that's Absolutely. true so since our foundation was not on emotion but on a uh, decision to commit our lives to God mm -hmm. which we believe was God's direction for us since we made God as the pillar of our marriage that's what we get back to when the th times and things are getting tough between the two of us we go back to that mm. did we get married because i liked her eyes her skin mm. or her her figure which was amazing mm -hmm. but i married her because of my faith in god <laughs> wink wink <laughs> wink wink yes <laughs> but any point is for the gentleman as well because you obviously you made a couple blunders along the way I did, I you did. were just like oh nimepewa bibi i just need to sit back and fold my arms would you have changed anything as far as your courtship journey definitely uh, now i know better <laughs> i wouldn't have been blocked on social media <laughs> if i treated her nicely valued her time yeah. not waste uh, men out there I believe you already know who you want to marry the moment you meet them. Come on. So please, please stop wasting their time. This is somebody's daughter. Yeah. And God will bless you if you treat your future spouse well. And don't play around with them. Absolutely. And I think as a lady, you always mm -hmm. still want to be courted and, and oh, chased yeah. and you know what oh, I yeah. mean. Oh yeah, our like, dating now has never ended in marriage because it began outside marriage. And yeah. so it has never ended. There's always the surprise factor because I didn't know you then and yeah. this always just keeps coming up and we just love it. Absolutely. Yeah. Fantastic. Um, someone here is saying, wow, Joyce, that's interesting. No courtship. Guy, I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, someone here is saying, we look like twins. Ah, yeah okay <laughs> uh, but they say that their story is incredible are they for real they sure are absolutely um um someone here is saying me i cannot ever want an arranged marriage because um she enjoys she'd want to give the story of how she met the love of her life <laughs> <laughs> just so that upiana you had this you talk your arranged marriage oh my goodness wow guys i really want to thank you guys so much for being here today mm -hmm. and even just showing that you know what again i love what you were saying too many people get lost in finding love out of these sort of sexual encounters and, mm -hmm. and, and feeling like it's about how many partners they've been with and how much experience they have. And you realize like you already dilute your marriage mm -hmm. even before it's begun. So shout out to you guys for showing young people that, you know, there's a different way. We're not saying it has to be this particular way, mm -hmm. but that there's 
there's a beauty about waiting and trusting in God for the right person mm. for your life. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, as I get ready to read out some SMSs, I want to ask you guys uh, to share with us how people can kind of follow your journey. I know you're doing a lot about now actually coming out and sharing, <laughs> oh, yeah. shocking the world uh, with, and your friends with the details yeah. of this. Even I didn't know. If I had known yeah. this girl who was pushing me to grab a bouquet would have ended up in an arranged marriage. I don't know. <laughs> I'd have escorted you there. <laughs> but uh, go ahead and tell us how we can find you. Well, you can find us on YouTube. We are at We Are Ocampo. Ocampo ile ya heg, like Moreno Ocampo. Yes, <laughs> yes that right. So at We Are Ocampo, you can find us on YouTube, on Facebook, at We Are Ocampo. Liz Muyo Camp on Facebook. Yeah. Liz Muyo Camp on Instagram. My husband is not yet on Instagram. I okay. don't know why. He's just not it's related okay. to those things. But we have a family page also at We Are Ocampo. Okay. Yes. Wow. And uh, someone here is saying, where values of a list? Exactly, my friend. You'll thank me. Now, nipe pisia keki on the wedding day. I believe this is true, but arranged marriage is a lifetime exam that both parties have to strive to succeed. That's Meg Ndungu, superfan from Embu. Um, um, Milka from Oyola says, amazing show. Wow, what a powerful couple. Sisi tunakula tu kwa macho. Um, Wengine says, I have to ask you this one. Ask them about the vows during the wedding. Did they mean it? Very quickly. Oh yeah, I meant every word. I Even though you weren't every... sure. Yes, yeah. I was sure of the word of God about Amen. this man. I was 100% sure Amen. about the word of God. So I was sure about my vows. Okay. I was very sure. I knew I was not going to leave this guy no All matter right. what. And you? Yes, I meant it, and we still keep those vows to good, this day. Good, good, absolutely fantastic. Thank you guys for coming. We Thank do appreciate you. you. Thank you guys for your feedback and your comments on that segment as well. And remember, I still have a book to give away. I have more of your feedback. I'm going to be touching on that. Double two triple nine. Tell me what you've discovered about yourself um, in this COVID period. I've discovered I cannot do an arranged marriage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll be back after this with Skola Mushiri and her team as they take us through a towel workout. Uh, stay tuned.